What's up everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. And we are about to tour the most racist town in America. It's a little intimidating, but let's get down there and see what it's about. We're gonna start this tour on the outskirts. Uh, obviously that store being there is almost like sending a signal that if you come in here, um, you know, that's a very uh, direct message uh, on that billboard there. Um, so what's happening here now, guys, is this. You have to understand the geography of this place. And that's why I really wanted to start kind of outside of town. Um, I want to start kind of on the outskirts of town. So that you guys can kind of see and i want you guys to really understand the geography of this place you're surrounded by mountain ranges on all sides this is a very geographically isolated place and um Geographically, this is this is isolated. This is a place that is surrounded by mountains, and it's got all the characteristics a place like this with this reputation would have for a lot of reasons. One is proximity to the Black Belt, which takes up the southeastern side of Arkansas. And there's like a divisive line between Appalachia and the Black Belt. And it's along that line. So the state of Arkansas is geographically divided. Geographically and also demographically divided along a point that runs from about Texarkana to about Memphis. And everything along there and south of there is very different of everything north and west of that line. You kind of draw the, a line across the state of Arkansas and they're two different states. So being that this is practically an isolated place along that divisive line the Oaksark Mountain Range to the south of here and all the way around really mountains that kind of isolate this place from the rest of the world and there's other places that have a similar reputation are also going to be within that so there's a geographical aspect that makes this place from where it is to how isolated this place is from the rest of the world because along that line and it's different because here you're further from you're, you're further from it really we're still 11 miles from town but I want to start this video on the outskirts I want you guys to see and understand where this town is before we get to it and what kind of geographical elements play a role to this town being like that so you know cotton grew well south of here mississippi alabama and the parts of arkansas towards the other side of the state now mountain people are very different from the people further down in the state in that this region didn't really have too much cotton the cotton was further south but in that lies that there's a real difference both in Arkansas, Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia between the northern parts of the state and the southern parts of the state and that further north in the Appalachian and the Ozarks cotton wasn't the thing to do 
so there's these geographical elements that kind of define the, these regions and make them different. But in the case of this place here, you have to understand the, the isolation that this place has from the rest of the world. There aren't major interstates coming through here. There aren't major cities. To the north, Missouri has mountains in isolated places. And this northwest side of Arkansas is mountains, winding roads. You just don't come through here. If you're going across the country, you're gonna go through other highways that are further north, further south. So these mountains are kind of like a bunker that isolate this area from the rest of the country. And you know, the same thing happens with Appalachia. Eastern Kentucky, West Virginia, in that. But there's Half a, a mile, slight right onto US 412. There, there's still a few things. East. Now the title, the most, is, is a curious title because, for example, we know what that sign there clearly, clearly denotes. Okay, that sign slight right onto US clearly, clearly east, denotes. US 62 east what it denotes um, there's no disputing that that's a very clear Continue message on US 412 East for five miles uh, sweet, trap here. sweet trap here what's the yeah, 60. 60 now here's what would definitely um, be of interest while we're in this town and I want to have this conversation before we get to the town because since I've never been here this is our first time driving into town I want to, before I get to this town, to, to make a few things clear. If we were to get pulled over while we were in this town, that would be a very uh, concerning thing if we were to have to deal with law enforcement. Because we've been traveling across America and I haven't had this problem. So if we enter this town, we, get, we have to deal with law enforcement for any reason at all. That would be a, a lot of concern. Um, if anybody follows us around, that would be of a lot of concern. If uh, there's litter, and there are Hispanic businesses here, and I think there's Asian businesses as well. If um, there's litter around these businesses, that would be of concern. Um, I'm not going to interact with the people here too much. We're just going to get in, get out. Um, the title the most to me is interesting because you know the city of Tampa has a giant flag when you enter on Interstate 4. The exit that I used to live on in uh, Alabama there was a giant flag just north of Montgomery right by the highway. So these messages like that maybe not with that specific wording but definitely that message does exist throughout America in many different forms. Um, you know, it's an interesting thing. But demographically also, I find it odd because there's places that are much less diverse than this that also have a reputation. So what I wonder is, is it really the worst in the country or has the media kind of blown it out of proportion and kind of try to make a news story out of it? With We're not questioning whether this place is messed up because that's not what we're questioning here. We, we, we kind of already established that. But is it the worst when you look at places like Alabama where clearly, like the town of Coleman, that same sign you see there, Coleman had that sign all the way up until uh, what the 1970s they took it down something like that if somebody's from Alabama watching and they know Coleman uh, until what point I spin it's 45 let's slow that down to 45 um, anybody watching from Alabama until what year did Coleman have their sign um, there's many towns in the south that had those signs um, of course they've kind of found a more discreet 
way of putting it, you know, indirect. Uh, what people don't understand about the United States is that these things are not openly done. They're kind of covered up and they're kind of, um, you know, they find a way to kind of mask their intentions, mask their message so that it sounds like it's not what it is. But, of course, the person, you know, like there's one Mexican restaurant here in town that I found kind of disturbing because I said, well, let's look at the reviews of businesses that are from owned by other people. And when I did that, well, this one's hot. I have to cool it down. When I did that, you know, looking at reviews of businesses, let me turn these on for a minute. Just for a second, guys. Let me be fair. So is it the most? That is an interesting question, is it the most? Because the most would pretty much denote that there's nothing worse than this in that category. And that's that's an interesting question to me, mostly because demographically there's a little bit of variety here. It's 88% W, it's not 96, 97%. Um, so that kind of like, here's a Spanish family obviously, with, um, los impresiones, los impresiones. So that's actually like a, that's actually like a low rider type logo on it, which is clearly usually a Mexican thing. So um, the most is an interesting concept because if it was the most, the most, it's 88% white. And, and there's places like Coleman, Alabama, that are like 98% white. I've been to places that have the same reputation. The only difference is there's no 12% of mixed other this, that, black, white. There's no other category. It is just 98% whatever, 99%, you know. And in fact, a part of Florida where I'm from, nowadays it's more diverse. But when I moved to Florida, it was 98% white where I lived. And um, But it didn't have that reputation. So to me, when I see that, it's kind of like, well... How much of it is hype and how much of it is real? But there's a lot of Spanish people here, from what I can see. The reason both in Arkansas and in Alabama, on the northern parts of the state, remember we talked about the geographical differences, um, and why in Alabama. In Arkansas, both on the northern part of the state, there's no hit black population, but there's a small Hispanic population because there's certain jobs in economical uh, economical uh, sections that must be filled by somebody who works for less. And in the case of Alabama and Arkansas, that void is filled by Hispanics because they won't allow blacks to be that group. Hilltop Armory, White Oak Station. So there's a salsa grill there, Mexican restaurant, but there's no litter in the, in the parking lot. I know in that part of Alabama that I lived in, near Montgomery, Alabama, there'd be litter. If there's a Mexican restaurant, people are throwing garbage in front of the restaurant. People litter. So that Mexican restaurant didn't have any litter in front of it. Um, a lot of times people use litter to send in indirect messages. Is there any Mexican? Here, here's an Italian restaurant. Italian. Let's see if there's anything Hispanic back in here. Um, and what we're 
we're looking for is if there's a Hispanic restaurant or an Asian restaurant, are people littering in front of the restaurant? That would be a good indication um, of it being. I, I, I question whether it's the worst, even despite the fact that you know they're making a very clear statement with that. But so there's, I haven't seen anything so far. I haven't seen any rebel flag. In fact, I think in the I've been all over. We've traveled what 300 miles to Arkansas at this point. I've seen one single rebel flag the whole time I've been in Arkansas. Yeah. One the whole time I've been in Arkansas. One. Bro, in Alabama, where I used to live in North Florida, you see hundreds of rebel flags. So I, I really question whether it's the worst. That's pretty much my 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 goal with this video is to determine whether it's really the worst. Um and I, I uh I said I want to see the, the, the businesses in town. What's this place right here? Is it, is it a Mexican place or a store? Okay. Is it the worst? And also, if it's the worst, you won't see families of other uh, backgrounds walking around downtown. Let's say so. That's another. Um, interesting. The worst. That the, to me, I don't care about the title. I, I, the worst. It's kind of what got me the worst. I was like, <laughs> look at all those lifting. Look at the size of the wheels in that Yukon. Oh, that is insane. Did you catch the size of the wheels in that Yukon over there? That That's insane. What do you have here? Casey's? Hmm? Gas station. Casey's gas station. Let's pull up in here. Good. I don't know, y'all. I want to see comments in this video. I want to see a lot of comments. Do you guys really think it's the worst? I think the title of the worst is really, there's way too many Spanish people here. Yeah. I, I really, the, the title of the worst, I think, is where, I see a Chinese restaurant up there. I see some Chinese writing. Yeah. Um, the title of the worst, I think it might be, uh, was it Vice News who originally blew that up? Yeah. Vice News. Yeah. Hard looks about the camera. That dude gave us a real hard look. That's not good. We talked about hard looks. That dude gave us a real hard look. Yeah. Uh, you were far out. And yeah, yeah, but he still gave us a hard look. Yeah. <laughs> he looked at the camera real hard. Mm -hmm. Real hard look. Mm -hmm. In mind, this town, the people live here, they know that there's people coming from out of town to do these types of videos. Yes. Because mm -hmm. they've done, you know, they've done a lot on that. So they're, he might call his buddies or something, you know? Who knows? He, that was a hard look. Yeah. That wasn't a year in my way look. That was like a... Got an organic any? grocery store. Yeah, gotta eat healthy. That's been here since 1994. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotta eat healthy. Where's the Asian business over there? It's right in front of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grand Fortune. It's a drive-thru. And that's, that's a Mexican, okay. and that's it's also very clean. Very clean. I don't see any litter in front of it. No. So here's an Asian restaurant and a Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. And I don't see any litter out in yeah. front of any of these businesses. Let's see how they look. I don't see any litter on either one of these businesses. Neither. Yeah, there's no litter here. In other words, if they are being that way, they don't. They don't really. Let's see here. Mm -mm. You know, there's a lot of people oh, here too as well. Nice. There's no litter here. There's there's no visible like littering. No. Even back here, where it would accumulate. No. Well, that business though, mm -hmm. is that a bacon business on your side? Uh, I don't think so. They might be leaving these weeds to grow just to make it look bad. Mm -hmm. There's some litter here, mm -hmm. but it's not like a fresh. This is old stuff. Yeah. It's not like there's like actively littering here. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, like in Alabama, for example, along the black belt, like they'll go to like black people go to a white area and they'll litter and vice versa, mm -hmm. and you know Spanish and Asian restaurants they get it the worst. There's there's no litter here. No need to even look at that. What are the ratings for that business, that Mexican restaurant? Now, I did find one Mexican restaurant that had some pretty bad reviews. But there's another Mexican restaurant in town that has good reviews. So, if that were the case... <coughs> if it 4. were the three, That's not bad. Oh. Now, that restaurant had like a 2.9... And there's a bunch of people like seeing all types of weird crap. There's one Mexican restaurant that has really bad reviews, mm -hmm. but it might just be the business. It may not be. Yeah. 
I'm obviously not turning you in, buddy. It may not be the business. It might be the. Yeah. It might not be the. It's the. It might be the business. It may not be the actual. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, who knows? Who knows? There's another Mexican flag right there. Mexico Lindo. Mm -hmm. There's a, not on that way. So there's another Mexican restaurant over here. Let's see what that looks like. They actually have the best rated Taco Bell I've seen. Taco Bell is kind of good. It's not an authentic restaurant. I know, but still. Yeah. In general. Hmm. <laughs> and Audi with a spoiler. There's a Tierra Jalisco. See, that right there is, one, is a, the, the best rated uh, Mexican restaurant. We got a new grocery store. It looks the I, I don't think it's the worst. What do you think? Oh. You think it's really the worst? I've seen towns that are worse. I've seen towns that are definitely worse. I mean, here's a Mexican restaurant here, and here's another Mexican restaurant over there. There are definitely a lot of bikers. That's yeah. usually... So Taco Jalisco's here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see Taco Jalisco. It looks clean. Yeah. Are they open? No. Are they closed? Do they, they go out of business? Open. They went out of business? No, because everything's set up. Maybe they're just closed today. See what their schedule is. Maybe they're not open today. Where it is? See if they're open. They're supposed to be open. No, they're closed. They're closed Saturday and Sunday. Right. But notice there's no litter. There's no litter. And uh, there's another Mexican restaurant over here. Mm -hmm. And what, what's this restaurant rated? That's the best rated restaurant in town. No palitos. No palitos. No palitos. Sorry. So you, you gotta understand that this area, because of the geography of it, it is very isolated. And and it's rated right four point three. And there's a lot of reviews. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Alabama, if it was like where we used to live in Alabama, there'd be so much litter off front of these Mexican restaurants. Yeah. Because people litter on purpose to, to make a point that the plate, you know, to make the mm -hmm. business look trashy. Yeah. Um. I don't think it's the worst. What do you think? Let's go to downtown. Mm -hmm. Trust me, there wouldn't be this many Spanish people here what? if it was the worst. I see more. Downtown space. right here to the right. I'll get you to downtown. Right. No, I don't think it's the worst by far. There's too many Spanish people. Really messed up places like where I used to live in Alabama. When you hit up a town, the Spanish population is 1%, 0.5%. That's where it's like, this isn't it? Or is it downtown uh -huh. tomorrow? Else? Here we go. Mm -hmm. La Torta. La Torta. Mm -hmm. Got you. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Spear Drive. I'm going to go. I don't want to go to the woods, kid. I want to go to the. See that route you got me on? Okay. Look where it's taking me through. Oh, let's go through it. Let's go. Okay, let's go through it. Let's use it. In 1,000 feet, yeah, turn left onto that. Spear Drive. Yeah. I, how do you think? I think definitely think that the title, The Worst, if it really was the worst, those businesses would have litter. Turn left there wouldn't the be drive. that many. This is just in that little strip right there. There wouldn't be five or it six Mexican restaurants. Clean. Yeah. I see actual government offices here. Mm. There wouldn't be. If it really was Continue the worst, it's drive. not the worst. One mile. If it really was the worst, mm -hmm. nice little creek. Yeah. If it really was the worst, there would be bad reviews on all those restaurants. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, if it really was the worst, um, there'd be garbage outside those restaurants. And people do litter here. See, there's litter here on this trail. Yeah. You know, so. But it's not bad. There's like. There's too much of a, of a outsider population here. Yeah. It's not a massive, but there's a lot of Spanish people here. Mm-hmm. With their family shopping at Walmart. They're like, come on, bro. Yeah. Like, where we lived in Alabama, you might see the guys shopping at Walmart, but you would not see the whole family shopping at Walmart. No. Look at the house up on the hill up there. No, I don't think it's the worst. I really don't. 
Could it, is it bad? Obviously, they have a freaking sundown or whatever, you know. Like where we lived in Alabama, that place was worse than this. I mean, crap, I worked for one lady. I worked for one lady. She was from, do you remember the, the lady, was she from Trinidad? Do you remember where she was from? She was from the island somewhere, remember? And that her neighbor had a giant rebel flag in the backyard. Like in Millbrook, Alabama, on Deatsville Highway, there was a, a, a black lady that I worked for, and her neighbor had a giant rebel flag overhanging the property line. You know, and a uh, really nice lady. I mean, this lady was just the nicest lady you can imagine. Um, nicest lady you can imagine. Just a nice lady. And uh, good family, hardworking people. They paid me well for working on her property. But her neighbor had this giant rubber flag just overhanging the property. You know, obviously he had it because of her. Um, see, that, that type of thing is, is, is more um, prevalent in Alabama. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't the worst. But what happens, Turn left onto West what happens with, with the news is that they want to put out their own, they want to put their own spin on it. They want to, they want to throw a news article and, and get their own spin on it so they can, so it can be sensationalism. Turn left onto West Sherman Avenue. Because, uh, clearly, you know. Continue on West Sherman Avenue for half a mile. This ain't the worst. Mm. If it was the worst, then they would have to, for example, Uniontown, Alabama. That place is backwards. Uh, Greenville, Alabama, we walked into a restaurant. No, I'm, I'm Hispanic, but I, I look white. I'm a Spaniard, so... We walked into a restaurant in Greenville, Alabama, and everybody walked out. So, like, the, the real test would be if I walked into an American restaurant here, talking in Spanish, would all the other would the people walk out? If I walk into a restaurant here, and like, let's say I'm on the phone talking in Spanish or something, you know, would the people here walk out of the restaurant? I'm not gonna tell you this is a perfect good. I'm not saying it's a good town. I'm not justifying any of that. What I'm saying is, is it the worst? I don't think so. West Virginia. Look at all the things that happened to us in West Virginia on one trip. Turn left onto North Willow Street. You know, mm -hmm. and I think the guy, the Indian guy, he went all crazy on us. Mm -hmm. And the reason he went all crazy on us was simple. He thought we were trying to, you know, abuse him, so he was on the defensive. Mm -hmm. That's another thing, like. Are people on the defensive because like where I lived in Alabama, turn there left, were Spanish like people, Street, but they wouldn't they right wouldn't engage you. Like I was never actually able to talk to people in there in that town because people wouldn't they would just wouldn't engage you. Yeah. You know? Um here's Main Street in their town. Turn right onto North Main Street. They just wouldn't engage you. Yeah. Other Spanish people would not engage you. Like they, they were just to themselves. I think there's a lot more bad places in the United States. West Virginia. Um, Alabama. Mississippi. Louisiana. I mean, no, this, this they're just blowing this out of proportion. It is bad, but it's, it's not like, it's not the worst. Like, it's, you know if it's bad. Like, we had some experiences in West Virginia where the guy got kind of very protective and very aggressive and that's where you know like when people are, are kind of like in a corner like that they're holding the dealership close mm -hmm. that moved. Uh, moved okay turn right onto the cow <laughs> I like that. Supermarket. <laughs> Hudson. 
Hickory smoked meats. I'm worried about their barbecue. They got good barbecue. That's what I'm trying to see. Are you ready for dinner? It's six o'clock. I was gonna have a seat in Branson. I wonder if any of the locals have made reply videos to that thing. I Vice News seen has it. the Vice News. They like sensationalism. They, they they're sensationalists, you know. Yeah. And and they were they were pretty much um, they were baiting people. Basically, yeah. is what they were doing on that video. But that's social media. This kind of looks like we're talking. Yeah. There's a little downturn right here. Ain't much to it. Mm -hmm. It's empty though. Woo hoo. Oh, there's a Native American mirror right here. Sun kissed is the name of that business. Mm. There's a Native American mural. We are standing on ancestral grounds. Mm. Mm. Arkansas. Well, what's interesting about that is many of the uh, Native Americans politic with those types of groups because they recognize they can't really go against that. Yeah. Uh, that's a whole different. I don't, I'm not gonna get into that because that's more of a that's a topic we don't touch. What is today, Saturday? There's yeah. nobody out here. No one's out. I hate towns like this. Gosh, man. I hate towns that are like dead. Like, there's nothing to do. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Look at this, a Saturday. That was their downtown, that's it? Mm -hmm. Nobody's out, nobody's doing anything? Yep. There's people over here, I see some cars. I think that's like a church. No. Restaurant. No. Car shop. Yeah. We'll find out. We'll drive and see. This is what I don't like about this town. There's nobody out it's here. It's a car dealership. Oh, a car dealership. There's nobody out here. Yeah. Are, are there any good rated restaurants? I'm not gonna have Mexican food. I'm not here. I'm looking up toward Branson, which is like a half an hour from here. Oh, Branson's half an hour, and they'll have famous restaurants and stuff. I'm looking. Is there a restaurant? You can't go wrong with any of them. Branson? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're gonna eat up there then? Yeah. Well, I'd like to meet the locals here and get out and meet them. Turn right onto North Walnut everybody, Street, then turn right everybody's onto Prospect had, Avenue. Everybody's had dinner in Branson. Who's had that dinner in, in Head this? west on East Ridge Avenue toward North Main Street, then afraid. turn right onto North Main no, Street. Wasn't your, wasn't your grandpa in the clan? Turn right onto Not North Main Street. Not my grandfather. <laughs> Which one? Great, great grandfather or Continue grandpa? on North great Main grandpa. Street for half a mile. No, the one that I talked to was in the clan. No, he wasn't. He sure as crap acted like he was in the clan. He wasn't. But he had definitely had clan sentiments. Yeah. Not the one that died in Florida, the other one. I know what you're talking about, and no, he wasn't. He wasn't in the clan. Nope. His, his father was in the clan. Nope. How far back we gotta go? <laughs> My grandmother's father wasn't a claim yeah okay and that was normal back then by the way wasn't there like a million people in the clan right i don't know yeah they say like a million people were in the clan it was like a normal it was like on north main street a normal thing to do back then head south on north main street toward west rush avenue but the, the, your grandpa in he definitely was racist east central avenue. remember when i first m got yeah, with you was, yeah he was racist he would ask me he, like, thought, he thought I was black for a while. He never asked me because he knew I would Oh, he knew, he knew not to go. He knew not to talk to me. Yeah, he knew that wasn't going to happen. Because he wasn't allowed to. Yeah. Your parents didn't let him. My parents didn't let him. Yeah. And then the fun part was Turn me. I DC knew Central that Island. they didn't like it because my Head parents told me. Stevenson and Avenue, I kept trying to push North that Willow button. Street, then turn left onto South Willow Street. But when I met him, yeah. he specifically asked me if turn I was black. Turn left onto South Willow Street. Then turn left you onto You actually West never Avenue. met him in person. We talked on the phone. Like, yeah, all the time. And he had to accept that. Um, yeah. He had to accept. Well, this is. It looks nice. Head north on North Willow Street toward yeah. West Rush. But Avenue. see, Coleman looks nicer than this. At least Coleman. Turn right onto West Rush Avenue, then turn left onto North Main this Street. Sounds dumb. Coleman, Alabama, at least looks nice. <laughs> I think Coleman, Alabama, might be more racist, but at least it looks nicer than this. Dollar General. Dude, this is like dead. Totally done. Yeah. 
Oh, like, this is just boring. Don't they have any Confederate monuments? So there's no Confederate monuments. No. There's no rebel flags. Head west on West they can Rush do better Avenue, than that. then turn right. <laughs> I'm just playing. Turn right toward West Ridge Avenue, then turn right. But anyways, it your, seems your grandpa. Like they're trying to like clean up their image here. Your grandpa. I've seen a few things like that. Yeah, I want to take Head a picture of my car here. Head west on West Rush Avenue. Yeah, this North is Springs, a cool mural. Then turn right. Yeah. Nobody runs. Turn right toward Nobody West Ridge run. Avenue, then turn right. Get that thing to shut up. Hey, hey. Get out, take a picture here. No Confederate flags, no Confederate monument. First of all, where's their Confederate monuments? That's what I want to know. They don't have a conf they no. want to be racist and they don't have Confederate monuments? It's a load of crap. Oh, that, they had a mural with a freaking Confederate flag the size of a freaking dump truck. Head south on Mural Avenue. I'm sorry, to the racist people of this town, you just ain't trying hard enough. Y'all ain't y'all ain't putting in enough work. That's what I that's what I would say. Yeah, I did see some video, like, videos from here, and apparently there was a, um... Rally? Some billboards, but it looks like the town is trying to clean up their image here. Yeah, once Vice News came around, they had to clean it up. <laughs> or like, oh, we can have this. Yeah. Is there a police car or, like, a rebel flag to take a photo with? Like, I could say I was here. Well, there's their visitor center. <laughs> 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 Is it really say that? Okay, I gotta take a photo in front of that. Does it really say visitor center? Yeah. I gotta take a photo in front of that. Okay, man. Come on now, you know that's funny. Okay, there is like a town here. Maybe on weekdays there's more activity. I don't know. What was that town we went to? Homerville, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, what about that town? That was more exciting. <laughs> that town was dead. Yeah, I know. Kirkland's, what are they doing? Yeah. Oh, people walking on the road, don't want to be rude. Desserts and cleaning. Yeah. Catering. Why Catering. am I saying cleaning? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a photo in front of their welcoming center. That's, you can't miss that opportunity. Mm hmm can't miss that opportunity. No. That's There's your cover thing. photo right there. The welcoming center. <laughs> Me in front of the welcoming center. Yeah. Bo Bo Bob's consignment. Now, Bob, why would you consign stuff? I'm sure half the town knows there's a red vehicle driving around taking oh. photos in front of <laughs> murals and stuff. Yeah. Small towns are gossipy. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I think, I think it's too much. I think it's too much. It's just, Alabama's got you beat, man. Y'all ain't putting enough work in. Mm -hmm. Well, anyways, when I met, when I first met him on the phone, yeah, he was like, definitely, he, he loved you a lot. He did. And he didn't want a black guy ending up with you. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he was like, he was like, he didn't believe, like, he, in his heart, like, he was afraid that I was black. Like, he wanted to, yeah. like, are you sure you're not black? I'm like, I'm Cuban, dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, like, in his heart, it was a it was a problem. Be kind. It was forever and always. But he he, he knew he couldn't say anything. Hmm? He knew he could right. Because my parents he did, were he like, did, if you did, even say one word to you, to me, to you, see that's to me, the they would make sure that he never saw me again. Right. Yeah. Ragbone. There's nothing named after cotton. <laughs> they, don't, they don't have a mural for cotton and all the great things it did for their state. I don't know, man. I'm not saying. Where's it say welcome, sir? Right there, welcome center. Look at the the bird inside of that thing. Mhm. Mm it's right over there. Like they legitly have stuff in Alabama that's like official. 
You know, like, yeah. there's no questioning this. Yeah. Like, even a, a, a town, a, a restaurant called The Sundown, mm -hmm. even that's like, well, you know, the sun went down behind a mountain. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. in Alabama, there's no hiding what the crap they got going on. Mm -hmm. They're like, it's not the sundown time. It's like, it's like the Confederate Memorial Park. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well. They don't have a forest named after the Confederates here. I don't, I don't know. I can't really... Well, you gotta understand that even though nobody's it following was, us around, we're acting super suspicious. No, yeah, they're not on point. That's for sure. No, <laughs> I don't know. I, I would definitely say, where's the the welcome center? Visitor center. Visitor center. Here we go. Let's take a photo in front of that. Welcome center, right there. Welcome center. Does it say welcome? Center? Yeah. Well, there we go. All yeah. Right. There you go. Let's take a photo in front of that. Welcome you people to the Okay, so what's our next move? Branson. You I sure you don't want to eat place. here? You sure I gotta wanna... see this place, Branson. You sure you don't want to eat here? Yes. You sure? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Dang, it's only 36 minutes away from like That's a what natural I'm telling you. from like a national travel destination. Yeah. Yeah. I think they, they need to cash in on that reputation though, please. Man, they got they're just not doing they have had the opportunity of a lifetime here to do something special. Yeah, there like, should be like a museum <laughs> of like hate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well y'all ain't capitalizing on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Alabama could teach Turn these left people. Onto wrong. North Main Street. Mm -hmm. No, these people could learn a world of stuff from Alabama. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alabama could teach these people a world of stuff. Y'all need to run down to Elmore County, Alabama, just in Coosa County down there and just kind of learn a little bit. Y'all ain't doing it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all just ain't be a caravan just... going out there tomorrow. <laughs> now what? Alabama's got us. They got you beat. Yeah. Crap, Baton Rouge has got you beat. Yeah, go the, Yeah, go to those two places. Man, I just don't. Oh, okay. Not bad. You're. I don't give a crap. This is the only. Yeah. What sucks about their town is, look, Coleman, Alabama has a lot of yeah. nice Continue things. On North Main Street for three quarters it's of a dead. Mile. It's like there's nobody here. That sucks. Y'all need, need to be, you know, there's no life here. I wonder people are, that's the thing. At least there's nothing else to do but join the local organizations. Yeah. <laughs> that might be why. <laughs> a pink, they have a pink buffalo there. That's cool. If anything, I wouldn't call it the most racist town. I'd call it the most boring town. <laughs> They're just looking for something to do. Hmm. Yeah. I, I think I've seen way worse towns than this. In, I have, yeah. In many respects, yeah. Yeah, this isn't like... I mean, crap, there's a hundred areas in the country where if you're white, yeah. you can't go into a black neighborhood because you're actually going to get something happen to you. Yeah. Nothing's happened to us yet. We've been pretty stupid. Mm -hmm. I will say some a few positive things about this town. All right, let's do it. You actually have, like, things here. And plus, this thing is pretty cool. They have a cow. Yeah. Come on, And there's, bro. like, buffaloes on buildings and murals. Murals. So, yeah, there is some positive it's things. It's not falling apart. It's it. not yep. falling apart. Not falling apart. Like, five Mexican restaurants. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um... Walmart. In 1000, you turn right onto yeah. Vine Road. Murals? Yeah, and it's a Walmart. There's no litter. Store, yeah? There's no litter here. Yeah. Yeah, there's no litter. Like in Alabama, it just like accumulates like snow. Yeah, of course. So they have a Honda dealership somewhere. Crap, man, I'm ready to buy an ATV right now. Turn right onto Vine Road. <laughs> they knocked down their yoga building. That's like the whole thing. Now, we don't even want to see the whole. We just want down there. Why would you point down there if that's not where I'm turning? That is where you're supposed to No, you're to not. Go. Look at the... Oh, it is. Yeah. All right, don't worry. Head west on North Main Street toward North Willow Street. I've been to places that are Continue much less welcoming miles. than this. I, I can assure you this that. This feels warm and welcoming. Can I tell you the places we've traveled to? 
Yeah. Yeah. I think they're just blowing out of proportion. Diner. Neighborhood diner. Yeah. You sure you don't want to eat at the neighborhood diner? Yeah. With all these good racist places we can eat at. We can we can go eat at these years. racist places and get to experience firsthand if they are racist. You don't want to step foot in this. All these good racist restaurants and you want to go to Branson? Yes, I've been wanting to go there for years. Look at that business. Ozark Mountain. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have wanted to go in forever. Yeah. We won't publish this video until we're like three states away. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be at least three states be, away and we'll publish this video. I'll be home when I, this is published. Yeah. yeah. I, I really think the media, they still have a Sears. Now yeah. that's backwards right there. They still got a Sears. It is in business. I actually like the town. It's very neat. Yeah. It looks very like neat. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It actually, it's a neat look at town. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's get out of here before sundown. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me they have a Mexican food truck. <laughs> what, what is it? What type of food truck is it? Moxie. Moxie. Poking a bear right there, boy. Poking a bear. That looks normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't. It, they really. I, I've been to places in Alabama, West Virginia, mm -hmm. that you're like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you're like, nope. Mm -hmm. They leave no doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, remember that place we went to by the by Lake Martin, where like every house had a red flag. That was pretty intimidating. Yeah. Remember that neighborhood we used to live in, in Alabama. <laughs> Yeah. Remember that restaurant we took to dad and he started yelling in Spanish? Oh my god. Oh. No wonder, right? Oh, there's yeah. our first Confederate flag right there. Where? This oh. guy's hat. First one right there. Just one. Just one. Come on, dog. That ain't bad. Mm -hmm. That ain't bad at all. It's just one rebel flag. Ain't made no big deal. Mm -hmm. One rebel flag in the whole town. On a hat. Come on, bro. Just one. One real flag. That's not too bad. And he's driving a Japanese car. It's not even American. Folks in Alabama wouldn't even touch a Japanese car. No. You sure you want to eat here, Katie? Yeah. Look at this ranch house plaza. You sure? I'm sure. You don't want to eat here? I want to go to Branson. Dang, Katie. It's, it's, it's Clint Colton's. It's not even Cotton's. It's Colton's. <laughs> These folks haven't even figured out you can litter in front of the Mexican restaurants. Next time we come, there's going to be litter everywhere. <laughs> That guy from Alabama sure put us back? on. That guy from Alabama put us on game right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But like they gonna be, there's gonna be a, a mass bunch. influx of Alabama here soon. <laughs> we gotta figure that this guy out. That from Alabama really put us on game, man. I just think, you know, realistically though, it's an isolated region of the country. Yeah. It's a little town. Look at the size of the wheels in that Yukon over there. Yeah. Dude, look at the size of those wheels in the Yukon. Yeah. That thing is a monstrosity. Yeah. They got an Audi's. Do they have a Starbucks? What? <laughs> they have a Starbucks. They do? Do they? I don't think I so. I don't think so. I don't think so. No. They have a Scooters. What the crap is the scooters? It's like a coffee place. They had it in Oklahoma. Watch people from this town be like, man, I can't even understand these folks from Alabama. I don't even know what they're talking about. I can't even stand a dang dang you're saying that. Sure. They mean to say, okay, there's no black people here. Well, crap, go to West Montgomery as a white person. See how long that lasts, you know? Mm -hmm. hey, I don't believe it's worse. Mm -hmm. They got a Dunkin'. 
Dunkin' Donuts. You remember how, like, in, in Oklahoma there's so many uh, donut stuff? Car didn't let me change lanes. Why? No idea. You I didn't use my to... turn signal. Ah. Stupid technology. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's it's a really isolated area geographically. You're in the mountains. You know, there this is just a place that's you know it's in the mountains. It's not. It's it's isolated just geographically when you look at this place. It's just set aside, you know. Days in. There's a Yamaha and a Honda here. That's what's up. I can't wait to get back to Florida so I can run my ATV around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go mudding. I'm sure the neighborhood has missed you. <laughs> neighborhood legend back home. <clears throat> They have this for children. What Look at it? that. It's like a really nice dentist that has yeah. like a play place in the waiting room, which is how you should have a children's waiting room. <laughs> children's, you know. Crap, I've even been to places in North Carolina that feel less welcoming than this. Yeah. I think it's just a publicity stunt for me. I don't really. Mm -hmm. I think even like. North Carolina been a place that feel less welcome than this. And it looks that like, little place in South yeah. Carolina we went to, what was it called? Uh Camden, South Carolina? That place sucked, bro. You could tell that place was racist. Yeah. Flea markets. There's a lot of flea markets here. Ironically, huh? What the crap is a Honda dealership? Huh? I can't believe I had the opportunity to eat America's most racist town, sit down and eat with these folks, shake their hands, and tip them. Tip them a $50 bill. Well, that's Cuban money right there. You don't see a lot of Cuban folks in Florida really get the money. I think you're just a... Why are you, are you afraid of me? I was just... Why are you afraid? You're afraid to lose your cash cow. I want to go to Branson. I know you do, but what's wrong with having dinner here with these nice folks over here? <laughs> Place. What's it called? There's a barbecue place rated 4.8 out of 3,000. Okay, keep in mind that it's a tourist place. Mm -hmm. And tourist places, food always sucks because it's a tourist place. Not necessarily. Yeah, it does. We ought to be heading south towards Little Rock and Memphis, not north. In the freaking Missouri. How long have I been asking you to go there for seven years? Hmm? Seven years, at least. You have been asking, yeah, you've been wanting to do this. But I've taken you to New York City, Houston, Philadelphia, Detroit. I've been to Hot Springs. Now I'm going to be going to Branson. And then the Continue last on one is that Hot Springs. miles. What? So after I've taken you, well, there's still a lot of places I need to take you to. You want to see Washington and Oregon. Yeah. And California. And Alaska. Mm hmm You remember, like, when we first got married? Mm hmm And we couldn't even afford to do, like, decent... Like, do you ever think when we first got married that we'd be traveling this much and seeing as much of the country? No. Like, we couldn't even go to Fort Myers. Let's go here to the Sundown. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, man. See, now you're racist because you don't want to go there. That makes... Yep, now you're the racist. How's that? Because I don't want to go to Branson. No, because you don't you you're, you don't want to go with your racist people. That makes you racist. I want to go to Branson. Boy, you are spoiled. You know that? Bransons and Bronsons and... I'm 
turn around. Turn around. I'm turning around. I'm definitely turning around. Nobody followed us out of town. It can't be that bad. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to see this for so long. We were not supposed to go to Missouri on this road trip. I know. <laughs> we are so... We are supposed to... We were not... We weren't supposed to go to Missouri. Arkansas was a possibility, but Missouri... It's just like... Uh, no. <clears throat> uh, there's no new hotels in Springfield, but I've always wanted to see Springfield. I hear it's really bad. Yeah. There is a hotel that we could stay at. In, uh, in Springfield? Yeah. There's hotels we can stay at. Don't worry. I got you. It's already six. I thought I was there at like seven, eight. I mean, we're stuck in this region. We're supposed to make it to Memphis today. <laughs> when have we ever gone according to plan? When there's a limited budget. True. <clears throat> How about that? When there's a limited budget. Actually, now we have a bunch of subscribers on our channel that are from Coleman, Alabama. Yeah. Shout outs to them. And if you're from this town here, you can join, you can subscribe our channel as well and watch us travel across America. Crap. You know? You can see places you've only dreamed about. Mm-hmm. But overall, even like when we first went to Coleman, we had heard so much about it. Mm -hmm. Everything we heard about Coleman was daily. And we actually went there, and we spent a day there, no problems. Now, I went back there and made another video about it, because I didn't even know it was like that until the second video, where we saw the comments, and then we went back and then a bit about it, and then they all got mad at us. But it's like this on our channel, we do videos in urban places, where people get mad at us for doing the videos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do videos like this and they get mad at us. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. We've done videos in Ohio and they haven't appreciated Yeah. It doesn't matter what you're doing. There's always somebody's yeah. not going to like it. So there it is, a tour, a one hour tour. You guys are really getting the, on this video, you'll be able to really feel this place out. Hour long tour of the most racist place in America, according to other people, not according to me. No. I think that I've seen way worse places. I've this. definitely seen way worse places. Yeah, I've been, to, I've been to places that made me feel much more uncomfortable than this. Definitely. You know, I have been to places that definitely made me feel more uncomfortable than this, so. I mean, I'm, I'm not even saying like one or two, but I can think of several places. 
So check it out. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe.